Well, Sarah, we're just getting some word about what the president-elect's mass vaccination program is going to look like. Some of the tenants are familiar for what we've been covering for a few months now. Uh, the administration is proposing to broaden the eligible population uh, to individuals over the age of 65 and also uh, to have vaccines available at pharmacies and outside simply hospitals. But here's some of the issues that are more novel that are appearing in this plan. First, they're going to build some mass vaccination sites in urban areas and mobile vaccination sites in underserved rural areas to try to get vaccines uh, to as much of the population uh, as possible. They are going to be utilizing the Defense Production Act where needed for both supplies like syringes and vials and storage issues like transportation and refrigeration. They are planning to surge health care workers in areas that are experiencing spikes in the virus uh, and also where vaccination is underperforming the rest of the country. And they also plan to fund more community health jobs. I believe the number is 100,000 community health jobs to try to put more workers behind this effort uh, to get more shots in arms. Finally, they are going to be launching a federally funded uh, national public education campaign. Think advertisements on TV, on billboards, pamphlets arriving in your mailbox to get people educated about the vaccine, how they can get it, where they can get it, and which ones are safe. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.